Hi, my name is Amani Thomas, and I'm actually going to be doing a video which the objective is to relate really calculus to our chosen field of, scope of study, which is medicine. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to give you guys some background information on exactly how pharmaceutical drugs work. First, the drugs are absorbed in the bloodstream. After that, they are then carried by the blood to various parts of the body. These drugs are then broken down into smaller molecules, and then ultimately they are secreted from the body. Hi, I'm Trey Lewis. Um, as earlier mentioned, that was how the drug works in the body. Um, to be a little bit more specific, um, we'll go over drug sensitivity as some more background. And it's important in the medical field for the doctor to know um, how strong the drug is. That way we know how much it's going to affect the patient. Um, and that is important in knowing if there will be any side effects for the patient, um, to know how well the drug will do whatever it needs to in the body, as well as um, determining how long it will remain active in the body of the patient. Now over here we have the overall equation of the drug script. Um, it's represented by R of M, where M is the dosage of the drug in milligrams, and it equals 2M square root 10 plus 1 half M. Now, when you take the derivative of this equation, it actually will give you the patient sensitivity to the drug um, with respect to the amount in milligrams. So, the equation that we're given is R of M equals 2M times the square root of 10 plus 1 half M. That's the equation for the strength of our particular drug. That's just the equation we're given for this question. And it wants us to find the patient sensitivity to the drug when the dosage of the drug is 50 milligrams. So basically, what this means is we need to find the derivative of R of M when M equals 50. So in order to take this derivative, you'll need the product rule and the chain rule. Once we find the derivative of the equation, all we have to do is plug in 50 for M and then we'll be done. These are all of the mathematic processes. I have the first part in black, the product rule is in purple, and then the chain rule is in red. So we'll start over here. We're given the equation R of M equals 2M times the square root of 10 plus 1 half M. And just for the purposes, just because I like to deal with X's instead of M's, um, I'll have M equal X for this, for the rest of everything. Um, so we'll have D over DX um, of 2X times the square root of 10 plus 1 half X. Um, Immediately, you can take out your constant, so that'll be 2 times d dx, uh, x times the square root of 10 plus 1 half x. Um, we recognize here that this is product rule and it is needed, so x will be u, and the square root of 10 plus 1 half x will be v. Now we proceed to the product rule. The product rule is u prime v plus u v prime. As I stated before, u is x and v is the square root of 10 plus 1 half x. We see that the derivative of x is 1, that will be u prime, but in order to get v prime, we then have to use the chain rule. Chain rule is f prime g of x times g prime of x. And for this, just to make it easier, I'll use substitution, so we'll let u equal 10 plus 1 half x. So it will be d du of the square root of u times ddx of 10 plus 1 half x, and I'll do each separately. So we'll make the transformation, make that u to the 1 half, we'll do our power rule, and then we'll end up here, and we'll end up with the final answer of 1 over 2 square root u. Over on this side, we have ddx of um, 10 plus 1 half x, and we can split this up with the um, additive derivative property. It will be ddx of 10 plus ddx of 1 half x, which is 0 plus 1 half. That will equal 1 half. So what we'll end up doing is we'll be multiplying, following the chain rule, 1 over 2 times the square root of u times 1 half, which will give you 1 over 4 square root u. And after we substitute the r u back in, we'll get 1 over 4 times the square root of 10 plus one half x. That is our V prime. 
now we can we can um, continue on with the product rule again. So these are the steps that we took. Multiply everything out, and you will end up with the final answer of two times the square root of ten plus one half m plus m over four times the square root of ten plus one half m. So we were given this equation, which is the strength of the drug, and we were told to find the derivative of that equation, which is the patient's sensitivity to the drug. But wait, this is only the general equation of the patient's sensitivity. We still have to add in the added factor of the dosage being 50 milligrams. So what this means is we need to look at the derivative of the equation, and for every place that has an m, we need to replace that with 50 and then do the proper calculations. Now that we found the derivative, the only thing we need to do to finish this problem is to plug in 50 for every place where there's an m. So we see this is the equation that we get here. We do the simplification, we'll end up with 2 times the square root of 35 plus 50 over 4 times the square root of 35. Since we're adding fractions, we'll have to make the denominators the same, and we do that by multiplying each fraction by the denominator of the other fraction. You multiply all this out, and you end up with 140 over 4 times the square root of 35 plus 50 over 4 times the square root of 35 by 2. Add those together, and you get this, which is the same. Once you simplify these, you get 47 and a half over the square root of 35 times 2. And once you perform the operation, all that is is multiplying 2 by your numerator, and you end up with the answer 95 over the square root of 35. This is the final answer for the patient's sensitivity to a drug that's 50 milligrams.